looking at this, uh, it's a flat series. It's a little bit different than we normally do. Um, it was ordered by a guy, Pierre, from France. And uh, this is as nutty as we've gotten on one of these things. It just it, it was uh, pretty complicated. Um, anyways, let's take a look at this. As always, they lift off top. And this is what Pierre sent to us, a little schematic of how he wanted this thing. Uh, the difference in this one is we put in like the second second tier here. So there's grommet holes to run cable and wire. And then the, the bottom deck here too. And we designed it for his pedals that there's going to be some that are sticking underneath of this riser. But with the access right in the back here, you can get to the knobs and such. And anyways, this thing is wired for pretty much everything. We did, uh, let's see here, we did uh, guitar in, or an input, stereo outs, a couple of five port midis, he's going to be running a gig rig, the G2, and we did a couple amp switch, amp switches right there, the silver and black, those are stereo, two channel switchers, and then we have the effects loop and then a standard uh, power cable. It's going to run the gig rig. Um, gig rig has their own proprietary powering systems, and that's what he's going to run. So we used all Mogami cable, pretty much always do, and G and H plugs with a combination of some Neutrik, uh, these Neutrik uh, five pins here for the MIDI. But everything else is G and H, and we got our Super Loop Velcro top. This top deck is also removable, so you can move it around or gain access to the to the pedals underneath. And we did a, uh, it's hard to see, but it's a really rich red, kind of a royal red velvet interior. And a little bordering across there. And that's going to do it.